We are nearing the end of this series, till it's time to remake the Hrothgar experience. So, let's savor it, shall we? Ever wanted to make a character that looks like a potato? Ever wanted to be sent to the kid's corner in a nightclub? Ever wanted to be the reason why to catch a predator exists? Then look no further because this is Lalafo. Final Fantasy XIV's small race characters, having the reputation of being a true chaotic evil while simultaneously being the cutest of the bunch. You are in for quite the shock when you get approached by one of these critters, and if you even dare to think that I would scroll the internet for something, you are f This is the Lalafell experience. When making a Lalafell, your goal is to make the most adorable little fucker you can possibly think of, questioning why female Lalafells have a boob slider, and really asking yourself what the genuine difference is between male and female Lalafell, besides having separate hairstyles, facial hair, and a personality difference. Lalafells are the shortest beings in the roster of available playable races, with the major difference between Plainsfolk and Dunesfolk being the eyes. One looks like a normal person, and the other looks like you're under the influence of Fenton, with voices that can be really out of place or the perfect fit for a small character. But oftentimes, they can be very, very loud. <coughs> Alright, I, I gotta- That was too emotional for a character that looks like a child. When it comes to character creation, Lalafells are basically the shorter Elizen, having ear customization and... And that's about it. The funny thing about male and female Lalafell is that they oftentimes share animations. So as sporadic and ecstatic they might be, it's not a gender thing, it's a Lala thing. Not only are they loud, but they are spammy as all hell. And their animations really support that cause. Being all jumpy and childlike, they really find a way to grab people's attention. Kinda like how an actual baby in a family gathering grabs everyone's attention. Alright. Personality segment starts right about now. Male and female Lalafell are the absolute definition of chaotic evil. They are unpredictable like most house cats and as lovable as many dogs. Male Lalafells are always finding ways to one-up themselves in terms of goals, and it could be in any way, whether it is to be the biggest achievement hunter or the biggest troll, which is an achievement, mind you. Female Lalafells also try to one-up themselves, but in different ways. Besides trying to be the biggest ball of chaos, they always try to be the cutest or the most fancy when it comes to glamour. Because when it comes to being a Lalafell, they can make some glamours look a thousand times better than how it looks like on any other race. And here we are again fellas, making this segment to see what you all are able to say about Lalafells in a single word. A pestilation upon the world of Eorzea. Creature. Capitalism. Malicious. Closer to hell. Cabbage. Football. Fun. E. Potato. Puntable. Devastation. Friend shape. Knee seeker, yummy, small, food, mischievous, gremlins, lala, okay, perfection, soulless, lala, no, voidless, manlet, the, smat, what, potat, muppet, anarchists, cute, homicide, wretch, 511, vile, adorable menace, extortionists, edible, ankle biters, smurfs, supervillains, snacks, Wow, wow. Yeet. The kid. Evil. Chicken nugget. Or at least you're self aware. Precious moments figurine. Fell. Goblin. Threat. Minor league. Nanamo. FBI. Conniving. Money. Popoto. Lala get back up. Achondroplasma. Not plasma. Plasma TV. Achondroplasia phobia. Thank you for participating as always. Now, let's just wrap things up. Lalafells are basically the quiet cult that no one really talks about, spending most of their time sticking together and always approaching taller races for much needed headpats. The chaotic evil by person that always appears as the lawful good in spirit. And that 
is what makes a Lalafell. Just look at their anatomy. And that is all I have to say. The next time you see a Lalafell, expect a lot of noise. And if you want a solution to be rid of that noise, you can always play American football with them. But they roleplay as the ball. <laughs>